Hello there, I'm TechDweeb, welcome. Thanks for clicking on the video today. So as a tech YouTuber, I do lots of extensive research into tech stuff. GPUs, processors, motherboards, RAMs, graphics cards, uh, basically an expert at this point. For example, I've correctly and verifiably proven that if you use a GPU designed for gaming, you'll get better gaming performance. I, I think lots of people think, oh, a, a GPU is a GPU, just grab w w the cheapest one, to, to use that to play your games. But but no, that, that's not right. You need a gaming GPU or your, your games won't run good. And I think I figured out why. These companies are trying to sell you their products. They lie to you so that you'll pony up the cash. Don't fall for it. One trend that I've noticed is that PC components made for gaming are unique in one very specific way. And if my theory is correct, then we'll be able to isolate this variable and test my prediction to see how much it actually impacts gaming performance. I'm talking about RBG. RBG stands for red, blue, green, because those are the colors of the rainbow. If you buy a, a non-gaming GPU, like an NVIDIA Quadro GPU designed for office work like Excel and PowerPoint, it won't have any RBG. None. None at all. But if you buy a gaming GPU, there's a good chance it'll have RBG. Same thing with your RAMs. Boring RAMs for office computers don't have RBG, but gaming RAMs do. Same thing with coolers. Look, here's a cooler from an office computer, and here's a cooler from a gaming computer. Same thing with fans. If you go to Amazon and search for a PC fan, you'll get a bunch of boring black fans. But if you search for gaming PC fans, they'll all have RBG. So since gaming computers are better for games than non-gaming computers, and since gaming components always have RBG, y you get where I'm going with this, right? It's, it's not the components themselves. GPUs aren't good for gaming because they're a better GPU with more powerful graphics processors or faster VRAMs. That stuff doesn't matter. It's, it's just words on a piece of paper. RBG is what sets them apart, and I'm going to prove it to you. This is my PC running a Ryzen 9 5950X processor with a Thermalright Peerless Assassin air cooler slapped on there, a Gigabyte Aero RTX 4070 Ti GPU, 64 gigabytes of DDDDR4 RAMs in the NZXT H510 case. This is a good computer. It's no slouch. It can play games really good. But it also has a bunch of RBG. RBG fans, RBG cooler, RBG RAMs. So what's really making my games run good? Is it the actual components or the RBG? Well, that's what we're going to find out right now. I've disabled all my RBG. The fans are off, the cooler is off, the RAMs are off, the motherboard is off, the GPU, I, could, I couldn't turn that one off, I couldn't figure out how, so I just disabled the RBG on that one by covering it up with some tape. There we go, no RBG at all, so let's do a baseline test. I'm running The Witcher 3 at 1080p with ultra settings, ultra ray tracing, everything turned up to ultra, as I always recommend. And without my RBG, I'm getting 68 FPS on average. Now, you might be wondering why this FPS is so low. Well, that's because, look at this thing. Without any RBG, it's, it's basically an office computer. So let's turn on some RBG. Uh, we'll start with uh, the RAMs, I think. There we go. The RAMs have some RBG now, and they've, they've been transformed from office RAMs into gamer RAMs. And look at that. Our FPS went up. We're up to 69 FPS. Nice. But the RBG on the RAMs isn't very much, so let's step it up a notch, and we'll do the cooler next. There we go. Our, our cooler has RBG, and wow. Wow, that actually made a huge difference. We're up to 85 FPS. That's more than twice the FPS that we were getting before. Okay, let, let's do the case fans now. We'll enable the RBG on those. This is crazy. We're at 127 FPS. You know, I had a feeling that it would make a pretty big difference, but not that big. Wow, I, I'm, I'm impressed. Impressed with myself that my theory turned out to be totally true. Okay, last but not least, let's enable the RBG on the, the GPU. Well, I, I think this proves my point. Don't fall for these scams, guys. Uh, Nvidia, AMD, Asus, Gigabyte, Corsair, they're, they're, these big companies are lying to you. They're lying to your face. CUDA cores and Gigabytes and Megahertz and Teraflops, these aren't real things. It's just marketing. That's not what makes something good for games. Real gamers always knew that RBG is the only thing that matters. And now we've proven it. Proven it beyond a doubt with science. Well, I, I hope you found this video uh, enlightening. I, I'd love to know in the comments how much RBG do you have in your system. I, I'm thinking about adding some more to mine. Uh, maybe some light strips on the, the underside of it, like those uh, racing, racing cars. Those 
go faster because of their RBG strips, so I think they'd make a pretty big difference for my gaming PC. Uh, let me know in, in the comments if you have any uh, suggestions. And while you're down there, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And the only people clicking thumbs down probably work for Corsair or Asus or Gigabyte. <laughs> so you scammers can just keep those thumbs downs to yourselves. Thank you very much. Well, that's it from me. I'm TechTweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.